This is Eugene Panrutrich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, today we're going to make a short video on when repairing a touch, touch screen laptop computer that has a separate digitizer and an LCD, how do you attach the digitizer to the LCD. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, these are parts for the Acer V5-571P laptop computer, which we get in here very often. So most of the time, this part, the touch digitizer is broken. And what we want to do is replace this broken part with a new part. The issue that arises is when you attach the digitizer to the LCD, there needs to be a small gap between the LCD and the digitizer. Uh, what happens, I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but what happens if there's no gap, the digitizer and the LCD touch each other and then the touch function does not work properly on the laptop. So when repairing, when doing this kind of repair, you need a special tape. And that's a two millimeter thick foam tape, double-sided sticky foam tape, like I'm showing you here, so you can see there's some thickness to it, and it has adhesive on both sides. So uh, if you do the repair with just regular double-sided adhesive tape that you attach other parts to or you use for cell phone repair, it's not going to work. You're going to get this kind of result where the digitizer is touching the LCD. So here's what the tape looks like. You attach it to the edge of the LCD here. Use this double-sided foam tape. Attach it to the edge of the LCD. And then when you're ready, you remove the protective film on top and put the digitizer down like this. So the connector goes through this opening here in the bezel, and then you put it down like this, and that's how you repair it. Okay, so once again, when you're doing a repair where the digitizer is separate from the LCD, you need to use this uh, type of double-sided foam tape so that there's a small gap between the LCD and the digitizer. Hope this helps. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panarutkovich, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.